SR500 EX Unpacking Check that the packaging contains Fan unit Battery Belt Filter adapters Particle filters Pre-filters Pre-filter holders Flow meter Battery charger User instructions Cleaning tissue Vaseline tube Plug kit. Assembling the fan unit. Battery. Release the battery from the fan unit. Remove the protective tape. Check that the gasket is intact. Connect the battery to the battery charger. Make sure that the pin on the cord's plug is fitted into the groove on the battery. Charging takes place automatically in four steps. Yellow. Battery analysis and initiation. Orange. The battery is being charged at maximum charging current. Green. Yellow intermittent flashing. Top of charging mode. Green. Charging completed. Switches to maintenance charging mode. Hold the charger plug and pull straight out when unplugging the charger from the battery. Relubricate the gasket with Vaseline for easier mounting. Push the battery back into the battery compartment. Check that its lock is operative. Maintenance of battery For the longest lifetime, the battery SR501EX should have regular charging and discharging cycles. During long-term storage, a scheduled charging procedure is recommended as follows. Store the battery at room temperature. Repeat charging after 6 to 8 weeks for as long as the storage continues. Any dirt of the battery gasket is wiped off with a dry cloth. Relubricate the gasket with Vaseline for easier mounting. Assembly belt. Insert the three tanks of the belt half into the slot in the fan unit. Press down the three lips. Correctly mounted belt. Particle filter. Check that the gaskets are in place and in good condition. Snap the particle filter onto the filter adapter. Do not press onto the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the adapter into the filter mounting. Then turn it about 1 8 turn further. Fit one pre filter into the pre filter holder. Press the pre filter holder onto the particle filter. Correctly mounted pre-filter holder 
with particle filter. Combined filters, gas and particle filter. Check that the gaskets are in place and in good condition. Snap the particle filter onto the gas filter. The arrows on the particle filter must point towards the gas filter. Do not press onto the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the filter combination into the filter mounting. Then turn it about 1 8 turn further. Fit one pre-filter into the pre-filter holder. Press the pre-filter holder onto the particle filter. Operation Performance Start a fan by pressing the control button. A programmed test will run on the fan unit and the display will then light up. The audible signal will sound. After the test, all symbols will be switched off except the small green fan symbol. This indicates normal operating status with a flow of at least 175 liter per minute. If the button is pressed again, boosted operating status will be activated with a flow at least 225 liter per minute. To revert to normal operation, press the control button once again. When about 5% of the battery capacity is left, the fan will begin to initiate an alarm and the battery symbol will flash. The work should be interrupted and the wearer of the equipment should leave the site. To switch off fan unit, keep the control button depressed for about 2 seconds. Visual inspection. Check that the fan unit is complete, correctly mounted, thoroughly cleaned, undamaged. and that the gaskets are in good condition. Check that the gasket around the opening to the battery terminals on the underside of the battery is undamaged. Performance check. Minimum flow. Connect the hose from the head top to the fan unit and turn it clockwise about one eighth of a turn. Turn the flow meter bag inside out and the flow meter appears. Place the head top in the flow meter bag and start the fan unit. Grip the lower part of the bag in order to seal around the hose. Grip around the flow meter and hold it vertical. The ball should now float level with or just over the 175 liter per minute marking. If the minimum flow is not achieved, check that the flow meter is vertical. The ball moves freely. The bag seals well around the hose. Performance check. Alarms. The equipment is designed to provide a warning if the airflow is obstructed. And this should be checked in conjunction with the flow. Check before the equipment is taken into use. Cause a flow stoppage by still holding tightly the joint between the hose and the flow meter bag and then blocking off the flow meter outlet. The fan will now initiate an alarm by audible and visual signals. 
if the flow meter outlet is now unblocked and the air is allowed to flow freely, the alarm signals will cease within 10 to 15 seconds. Switch off the fan and remove the head top from the flow meter bag. Clogged filter alarm. If the particle filters are clogged, this is indicated in the following way. A continuous sound signal will be heard for 5 seconds. The red warning triangle in the display will flash. The warning triangle will flash continuously, whereas the sound signal will be repeated at intervals of 80 seconds. Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change the filter. Putting the equipment on. Before putting the equipment on, read carefully the user instructions for the head top. After the filter has been fitted, a performance check has been carried out and the head top has been connected. The equipment can be put on. Snap the two parts of the buckle together. Tighten the belt so that it is comfortable. The fan should be firmly in contact with the wearer's back in order to ensure optimum comfort and ergonomic benefits. Change the particle filters. Both filters must be changed at the same time. Bend the pre-filter holder from the filter adapter. Change pre-filter by press it in the middle and then remove it. Place the thumb on the underside of the adapter and price out the filter. Assemble the new particle filters and pre-filters. Change the gas filters, combined filters. Both filters, combined filters, must be changed at the same time and must be of the same type and class. Unscrew the filter, combined filter. To change the gas filter, price the particle filter off the gas filter. Remove the pre-filter holder. As an alternative, the filter combination can be separated by means of the filter adapter. Assemble the new combined filter and pre-filter.
Change the gaskets in the fan units. Remove the old gaskets. Fit the new gasket onto the flange. Check that the gasket is in place all round. Cleaning disinfection. The plug kit is used for cleaning or decontamination of the fan unit and prevents dirt and water from entering the fan housing. For daily care, use Sundström's cleaning tissue SR5226. In the event of heavy fouling, a soft brush or sponge wetted with a solution of water and dishwashing detergent can be used. If necessary, spray the product with 70% ethanol or isopropanol solution for disinfection. Clean the battery and the gasket. Clean the battery compartment. Lubricate the gasket with Vaseline for easier mounting. Storage. After cleaning, store the equipment in a clean and dry place at room temperature. Avoid exposing it to direct sunlight or other heat sources. An alternative to storage is our SR505 storage bag. 